Prag, a very very nice win against Rinat Jumabayev. Are you happy with your game today? Yeah, today it was uh, good. Um, yeah, yesterday I mean I had a very easy win, um, which I missed. I was very upset yesterday. And yeah, also uh, having a game earlier like this, after playing such a long game, it's very difficult. I didn't prepare today. Um, I mean, at max, I looked at his game for half an hour, that's it. And then, yeah, and then I tried to relax and come to the game. Yeah, some more things went well. So first, talking about yesterday's game, uh, you were in the grind mode. You got one pawn, but it never looked like winning. But then you managed to convert it into FNH pawns. Did you feel like you would win that or you were just playing? Uh, no, I was already happy to get that F and H because it looked like it was nothing. Um, even after I got the pawn, I mean, the sting was active, Rook was active. Yes. And um, yeah, when I got to F and H, I've studied this F and H a lot. Um, I was shown this first by Ramesh sir and he had uh, shown that with very good explanation. I still remember some of them. Uh, I mean, this is like... Uh, I, I only know one thing. Seven years back or something. Ah. That, that yeah. defender should keep his rook on A8, so he can give check from bottom and side. Yeah, there are such uh, principles like king should not uh, go to like first rank and get cut off. Also should not uh, get cut off on, uh, I mean should stay on G2 and whichever pawn advances first, you should go and stop that. Something like that. There are a lot, lot of these and I remembered all that to defend, but I, I couldn't remember the win. And we also worked with uh, Yusupo sir and Nivaka. So I was very confident in this end game and um, yeah, I got to this um, position with King F1 and I I remember this trick with um, um, with King Black King on F1, Rook on E1, um, White King on H2, pawn, Black Pawn on H3, F4. Let's say White Rook is on A1 and um, let's say he goes. Uh, it's a check, no? Your yeah, I go Rook E1. Yes. And then let's say if he... Rook A3. Or let's assume the rook is not on A1. Let's say rook is on A2 or something. And the point is like king H3, now you have rook E3 check. And then F3, this is winning. Yes. So there are different ideas where you can get this. I remember this, but um, then I just... Yeah, I couldn't find this F3, uh, like rook. Yeah, you had at that point when he went king H1 to play rook E3. Then he gives a check, come rook E1. Then he goes rook a3, then play f3. Yeah. Rook f3, king e2, right? Something yeah, like that. The unknowing part was, uh, I knew this. I mean, I went back to home, uh, went back to hotel and checked my file. And um, and it had uh, this plan. And and when he said, when he mentioned the win after the game, I, I remember the win. Um, but also, apart from that, I mean, it's not very difficult. Yeah. Um, I think I would find this with little time also. But I had 15 minutes, so that was, yeah, that was just uh, very upsetting. I, I don't know what really happened there. Um, yeah, maybe it was just, uh, um, like I, yeah, I didn't concentrate well for that moment. Maybe something like that, I don't know. But, but when such games happen, when you have tried so hard and then you have to draw, uh, it's not easy, no? To you feel start feeling a little bit sad. Uh, so today, when you came to the board, uh, how did you overcome that? As you said, you didn't. You just took rest. Yeah, I, yeah, I was very upset yesterday. Uh, yeah, more upset than uh, I usually do, uh, because especially in this event, wins are not coming easily, and to get such a chance, uh, like to grind out like get such a chance and missing it was very upsetting and yeah I just tried to watch some comedies um, and yeah just just trying to relax and not really think about today's game and today I, I was just I thought I'll just play fast and uh, we'll see what happens on the board. And, uh, today know, the but, critical moment came when you took knight into e6 that bishop uh, queen takes and uh, at that point, did you consider this move h4 directly? Uh, you played, I think, uh, queen g3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I considered it, but bishop h4. And now rook f7. Rook c2, rook 7 f6. 
and then G6 and H6 also falls. Like Queen E8, ah, Rook G6, yeah. and then Rook H6. And yeah, no, I was trying that every move. Is it winning F4? Yeah, I mean, what you played is also fine. Maybe he has better defenses, but H4, I think he has to find a move like Bishop E3. Yeah, I was seeing that idea, Bishop E3, but uh, yeah, I was looking at H4 and like uh, already for five or six moves. No, but it was very complicated. It was Bishop E3, you go Rook F7, some Queen G4, and then it gets. Yeah, there uh, was such ideas. I was seeing it in a different line. Um, yeah, I saw this, but um, I was not sure. Also, H4, Bishop H4, it was not Rook F7, Queen F7. Hmm. Takes, takes, it was. Yeah, I knew I was winning, but uh, I was hoping for more uh, because he was already down to his min last minute. And I thought I will trick him somehow. And, uh, because I always get some uh, something on the King's Trigger. Yeah? There is always Rook F7 or H5, Rook G4. Everything is hanging. So I this this entire was... combination with Bishop G4 and Bishop D7 was very pretty. Yeah. Um, it reminds of one Fisher game, actually where he played bishop d7. Uh, it's a very famous game of Fisher. I remember some game recently, like there was this game of... Uh, I don't remember who, who played it, uh, fortunately. I think it was Ivanchik or someone. Uh, yeah, 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 knight d7 against Jordan. Yeah? yeah. Yes. Um, where all rook is on c7, yeah, e7. I, like you can take with uh, five pieces or something yes. and still it's very good. Yeah, so that was... Uh, but okay, it was quite easy. But I think... Um, from the opening, I got a very good position. Uh, I didn't know much. I remember that this mod bishop f4 is possible, and I can play like this. And but he, but knight d7, knight e5 from him was very strange. Uh, I thought I'm just much better there, but it was not easy because um, there are a lot of options, and I had to choose the correct one. I don't think I chose the correct one, but okay, uh, still better. Right, and Prag, now you are uh, have moved to five and a half points. Uh, you are very close to the leaders now, just a point away. Uh, no, too fast. Huh? Still too far. Yes, two rounds to go. I mean, uh, generally, like everyone's drawing at the top. You know, hardly there are decisive games. So, yeah. it's actually not too far. Yeah, I'm not thinking about it too much. Uh, because, okay, I mean, everyone is very strong here and just trying to play my best. If I get a chance, I am trying to take it. Uh, I think that's very important. Yes. But two wins uh, after the rest day is good after, you know, like many draws. So, it's been a good comeback. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yesterday's game, yeah, still, Yes. Still. Apart, I mean, it could have been three in a row also. But two and a half out of three. Well, congrats, Prag, and good luck for the last two rounds. Yeah, and and one question was, uh, did it help today that the round was three hours early or did it break your routine? Uh, I, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't. Honestly, yeah. Because after, like, I went back to room uh, 10. And okay, I, after having dinner, it's already 11, 11, 15, yeah? And then game is in 12 hours. And okay, I haven't still it to come from... Uh, I had to calm down from the previous game and okay, I have to prepare also, it's very difficult. And yeah, I, I decided to cut the preparation part and just relax. Which worked well. 